how are we meant to develop as a people and as a community if we only think about the social in life? A, the journey of doing things alone is much, much harder. You're more likely to give up. Word, 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 word. word, word, word yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Jan and today it's going to be a different kind of video so like I'm starting this new kind of segment where I bring people and today's guest is very big, let me get into that intro in a sec <laughs> but where I bring people and we discuss different kind of topics for you guys so yeah, so let's get straight into this video so today, as I said, the guest is very big and gobble and blah, as you guys can see as big as my beard <laughs> <laughs> sorry what this? the beard is there, you know I shave Monday and Friday <laughs> So, it is none other than the Mr. Ugandan Schnack. So, for those of you who don't know Mr. Ugandan Schnack, he has his own YouTube channel, Mr. Schnack. Oh. But I'll let you figure that out. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm Mr. Ugandan Schnack, aka Mr. Schnack. Big and strong, the tallest in charge. I'm everything, you know? Model, basketballer, YouTuber. Yeah, like. And, um,. Yeah, big fan of Jan from day one. Stop it. <laughs> so this is my very first um, YouTube official oh, collaboration. Yes. Like my first YouTube bar, so like proper excited for this video. We planned very... this for how long? <laughs> Literally, like I can't I feel like count. We planned this like since last year. Time. Oh no. We've been planning this for time. It's been a year, you know. We was meant to film this. Do last you know it's year. been two years? Oh, mad. It was two years. Yeah, two years. It was two years, 2018. Oh. So we've been planning this for two years and it's finally happening. <laughs> I think that deserves a round of applause. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so today's video, we're going to be talking about like why we feel Ugandan or to chiche to bulamunga bantu to get to like the next level or kwe zimba no kwe kind of Think about thing. it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Exactly. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring Mr. Schnack into this video in particular is because every time I speak to you, I don't think I've told you this before, but like every time I speak to you, I just get not just positive vibes, but like he's not self-centered, if that makes sense. Like he's always looking for a way to help and empower people around him. So that's one thing I really admire about you. So that's why I thought that you would be like one of the best people to bring to kind of talk about this and what we can do as Ugandans to change it exactly to uh, lift each other up so Mr. Schnack I'm gonna ask you first of all what do you think are the main kind of reasons Luwaji and Gavana Uganda um, you know maybe we're not like growing or developing as fast as maybe let's say other like communities. other communities that we see mm. There's so many different points that we can talk about. I think a major thing, we didn't even say it before, but jealousy. Like, mm. there's a lot of... There's a lot of, I want to win, but I don't want to see you win. Or if you do win, there's a limit. Once you supersede me, I'm just like, no, you can't be winning like that. Yeah, there's a lot of jealousy, self-hate, and upbringing, I guess, because really and truly, we've grown up in communities where there hasn't been that much of support and you see all the gossip and this that and the other like you have that normal stereotype of the aunties always gossiping mm. and this that and the other like that's not really good in terms of bringing up children like so now we're exactly. growing up in that same environment that's all we've seen growing up yeah. so naturally that's what you grow into as well yeah which is really sad like yeah. your upbringing makes a big difference like so like i see for example let me use you so seeing your videos with your family mm. it's a lot different to how you'd see most families like you guys are well knit and you're together like to see your dad taking part in your youtube you don't get that like, shout out mr yeah Machu literally shout out mr because <laughs> boy like he'd be giving us jokes and yeah. it's just like it's nice to see so seeing that you're probably an anomaly type of thing like whereas i would never think of putting my parents in a youtube video as much as i'd record them like let's say we're going out and this down other i don't feel like i have that relationship where i'm gonna my dad into a thing but maybe because I've seen you do it I might mm. feel like okay cool maybe, maybe I should it's possible. yeah type yeah. of thing so there's a lot of boundaries that we haven't broken mm. that have brought us to the stage where Ugandans aren't developing like our upbringing doesn't let us do that those are heavy heavy topics right there um but I feel like you've kind of tackled it more like in a sense of maybe like content creators which is mm. where we're coming from but True. like I would say maybe in life in general as well like let's say like somebody started a business or something mm. I think like 
or queer wagida like supporting each other because as you kind of said maybe not so much jealousy but like everybody's so focused on themselves like um and i don't know if we feel like maybe helping somebody else but no that's true a lot of people do actually feel like that exactly yeah. i remember when i was running for miss uganda uk like you have to campaign and get people to vote for you mm. and i went to this one event um and i had a friend there who was trying to convince somebody else to vote for me but then like this guy was just making it so hard he was like ah, when i vote for her for now more cheap more and it's like why do you have to get somebody why do you have to feel like you have to get something out yeah. of supporting somebody like just support somebody and mm. the universe will reward you is that a you woman don't. thing then Hmm? No, that was a guy who even said that. Oh. It was a man. <laughs> he said it like yes. that. Yes. Oh, why? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, women. I, I stereotype a lot sometimes. We're getting there, listen. Be careful. But, yeah, damn. Like, yeah, that is very disgusting. I'm not gonna lie, but you, you hit the nail on the head. That's mad. Mm. It doesn't take anything of you to support somebody else to help them or to take it. Mm. And we were saying this earlier. It's a thing within the black community as a whole. Mm. Um, it's just a general problem. So we're not gonna single out Ugandans and say, you it's know, just a Ugandan problem. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not just you. It is across. But that is where we see like different communities, like Ngawa India. I think this is like the prime example that you can even give. Mm. Like, literally, if one Indian person does something, like every other indian person is there to back them like i don't know is it okay no no i get what you mean like their sense of community yes. is different to our sense of community exactly and even i guess it ties back into upbringing their mm. upbringing is so much more different to ours like type of thing the only time you see ugandan developing like close-knit is pate after pate <laughs> if we're going to pier <laughs> one if we're going to what's the other place where they bring the concerts Royal Regency. Royal Regency. Yeah. Those are the only times you get in the development. That's what we've grown up. <laughs> oh yeah, where did I see you last time? Pay one. I saw you at Club Votes. Yeah, like, I'll show you those, I saw you, you at Sheba's I mean? concert. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, if that's the only thing that we're thinking of that brings us together, together as well. how else are we gonna grow? Mm, like sure. it's never been like when we was young. Oh, I'm taking my son to this networking marketing business or this property talk or this that and other. It's literally just been about parties. Like the only thing I've remember is your weddings, party of parties, weddings, Eventually birthdays. Mm -hmm. like, so it's like, how are we meant to develop as a people and as a community if we only think about the social in life? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, actually, I just remember it's what you said. Ugandans live on a it is what it is type thing, like, mm -hmm. and it is in the moment and live for today and not tomorrow mm. so it's like all this party of part, party after party is what we care about we're but forgetting that we're not, gonna take yeah work. like we're not building for our kids like imagine if our parents okay let me not speak for everyone like our parents had not told us to do x y and z or you can make money through modeling for example like you would have been in a much different place maybe i would have started modeling when i was younger mm. like what if i wanted to play basketball if i wanted to be a makeup artist like mm. our parents were so narrow-minded not everyone's by the way but some parents were so narrow-minded mm. in terms of thinking education is the only key and in that turn it closed off our minds to other possibilities, other possibilities. English. It's okay. English it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you get what I mean, type of thing. So yeah. I guess that's another reason why we don't develop. Like, um, yeah. So, yeah. do you have any kind of like solutions? Solutions. Or I don't know. As what we can do moving forward to kind of mm. break the culture that we have right now. So I guess. So let's say for this, for example, like as much as we can both sit here. Oh no, actually, I'll use Ruth. She's in the background. So Ruth is a photographer. Shout out Ruth. She <laughs> does her thing by herself. Like. If I continue to let her do her thing by herself, yeah, she'll succeed 100%. If I feel like I know certain things in my industry that can help her, why not let's work together and grow together? Mm. So we're not all doing this by ourselves because to, the journey of doing things alone is much, much harder. You're more likely to give up. And again, upbringing, there's mental health involved. Like Doing things alone is such a bad thing because you have no one to talk to. You have no one that's going to give you that constructive criticism and this, that and other. Exactly, yeah. And bringing that whole positivity into it there's more to life than being social so when you're always in that mindset of party 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 then you never have people in your life that are going to be real with you mm. and i've had so many people that have been real and honest with me that i want to be the same to others it's the same happiness that let's say you bring me and i'm like oh when i see jen i'm thinking da, 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 da. i also want to provide that so you kind of have to be selfless type mm. of thing like so a lot of ugandans have to learn to be selfless you can't be selfish in this life and also be genuine so i think a lot of the time people are fake and they're not real within themselves so being like me might not be possible for you 
So you need to also understand your strengths and weaknesses because not everyone can be positive, you know what I mean, type of thing. We all go through different things. And you asked me for a solution, bomb before. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, you've actually given. <laughs> yeah, saying people should be selfless. Yeah, work together, support each other, man. Mm. Like, literally, all it is is a phone call and pick up or a text. Like, oh, I, I appreciate what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. If there's anything I can do to help you and vice versa, let's work together type of thing. It could even be in education, for example. I know I always speak about, like, let's say, modeling YouTube, this and other. It can literally be in education. You have a degree in this, I have a degree in this. Let's come together and work together. Or let's say I'm stuck. There's some of you that are going to be under 18 or in college watching this video. Mm. She's at uni now. You can easily hit her up and be like, how did you pass this year? Like, Or if you want to do the same course as her. These are all things of togetherness and helping each other build. Like, Let's not think that everything to do with social careers or entertainment and sports. No, like, if I want to learn to... If I want to go get a degree tomorrow and you did the degree that I did, let me ask you, how did you do it? Oh, I need help in this. Mm. And also having that open mind to be willing to accept others to come to you for help. Because as much as there are people out there that seek this help and seek this togetherness, but people aren't willing to do that. To give it. Yeah. yeah. So let's say, for example, we wanted to collaborate, but I was like, you know what? Jen wants to collaborate, but I don't want to collaborate with Jen. Like, so I'm just going to string her on, string her on, string her on, and never collaborate. Mm. So you're being selfish, but I'm being selfish. So it's being on both sides, both parties being receptive and open to that. Like, So it's like, it's weird changing that whole culture and getting people to think the same like because literally you have to think the same like the indians like you said like mm. indians or asians i don't want to be specific okay like. yeah let's call them asians yeah like so the asians like the way they are in the culture if i say my their granddad came and he's built here he's bringing everyone and no one's being like no i don't want to come <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean like we're all going to get houses in the end and we're all yeah. going to live better so let's be open-minded and think type of thing but mm. ugandans aren't open-minded what, what do you think some solutions what do I think? Um, I would literally just add on to everything that you kind of said there. I think one thing we shouldn't do though is like generalise. As you said, there are some people out there who are selfless. There are some people out there who seek that sense of community and togetherness. Naye, obviously, it has to come from everyone. Mm. So it's just a bit of like introspect. In let me say that word right. Introspection <laughs> that I think we all need to do, and just maybe reflect on what you could do. Go on to to mm -hmm. increase that sense of yeah. togetherness with your fellow Ugandans. So how can you help somebody out? How can you look for somebody to help you? Because you can't succeed all on your own. I mean, as Arif said, you can, but it's a lot easier in Ngolina and to have a So let's just start helping each other. Let's just start being there for each other. You guys already know, like my DMs are always open. If mm. you have any questions you want to ask me about YouTube, medical, anything that I do. Mm. And Arif, are your DMs open? No. Huh? <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> Let me even just be... Everything you just said, what? <laughs> okay, my DMs are open to an extent. I okay. Think a lot of the times and this is another thing with why Ugandans don't develop. They take the, I don't know if you can bleep this out, they take the <laughs> They really do like, so they overstep like, so in terms of, I'm in an industry where I can help others. They now expect you to do it for them, like mm. type of thing, rather than mm. you do some work and I also help you with some work as well. When you pray to God, for example, whatever religion you are, you don't just pray and sit down and expect greatness to fall upon you like we say that faith without works is dead yeah literally yeah. like you have to work type of thing like mm. but don't come empty-handed and then just want me to give you everything type of thing so your approach makes a big big difference don't come into our dms just saying hello how are you think about <laughs> it, think about it. <laughs> don't just come and be like hi hello, how, how are, are you? you like that's it's pointless conversation because we can't be friends online buddies is it's very hard and people don't know how to define that word friendship friendship is a big thing type of thing i think people fling it out left right and center oh that's my friend that's my friend no you're actually acquaintances <laughs> like you don't know where i live Tomanishi and Suze. like you don't know how i am like you don't know how i am mentally this mm. and the other like but mm. you say you're my friend Does, mm. is that really a friend mm. so don't always because i know ugandans do this a lot which is why we like in the developing like they're always seeking friendship, seeking friendship, seeking friendship. You first seek Katonda. Katonda, <laughs> 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 like, you're just going to end up not developing mentally and in the wrong way. So whatever you want to do, 
first do it and then seek their help. Don't come empty handed mm. in our DMs. Like, so for those people that do come in and just on this, hello, how are you? That's pointless conversation. Unless if we're in person, social media isn't real life at the end of the day. Preach. You know what I mean? Like, you're only seeing me through a screen right now. Mm. Like, so but if you're here to have like a serious conversation, by all means, come to me in the DMs being like, you know what? Because I get this a lot personally, like, oh, I want to be a model. Okay, what kind of model do you want to be? There's Instagram modeling, there's runway modeling, there's commercial modeling, but to you, you expect to me, oh, what do I do to be a model? Like, you haven't even gone, I'm not the only source. Yeah, do some do research. research. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And people really lack in that. They just want you to give them the answers. And even if you give them the answers, because you didn't do research, you're not going to know what to do with it. Like, mm. so it's a bit hit or miss. So, yeah, Jen's DMs aren't open to you, <laughs> <laughs> to you people that just on hi hello and listen they are yeah, like, yeah, yeah i definitely agree with that like if you want help with something so can i wait or change yeah, yeah first help yourself get yourself to a level where somebody can just you know give you advice rather than mm. start you off from scratch because we can all we can literally all succeed together innit? at the end of the day like there are ugandans out there like ourselves that are willing to do the help and to help others and support each other and this and other, but I think we need to change that culture of party after party and social events. Like, okay, a good example, um, Lucia. I don't know if you guys Shout know. Out Lucia, like, so nice she does amazing events on your well-being, on her um, her works, everything. Like, we'll probably leave a link in the description below. But she does amazing things, and when she hosts an event, how many people turn up? Mm. Like, Ugandans, we don't develop because we only want to turn up to the social side. We never want to turn up when things actually matter. So it's like, all those little things will literally make a big, big difference. Be open-minded, like, mm, but let's also different. have yeah. events where we're gaining knowledge and we're gaining something type of thing. Mm. All I see is everyone just loves to party and they will ask you, be like, oh, Jan, where were you? Arif, where were you? Like, why weren't you there? Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> why must I be at every party? Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, Should I'm not going to go like that type of thing. Like, and it's just, yeah, changing that culture, man. And even going off of that support, I don't think a lot of you understand how much a like and a comment makes a difference. I'm talking about us as YouTubers and Instagrammers now. Like, mm. in terms of what we do, for us to continue doing what we do, we need your support. The engagement. Like, yeah. without you guys, I'm nothing. Like, you guys are the ones that allow me to be in the position that I'm in. So, without your support, I can't do what I'm doing for th for this career. Do you know what I mean? Like, I echo every so <laughs> we literally need you guys to support. So I know you guys sometimes might be lazy and be like, I don't have a YouTube account, and then that's where it goes back to being selfless. Like, okay, cool, you don't have a YouTube account. You can literally open up a YouTube account and be like, you know, what, let me comment for my sister's sake. This is Jen's video. Like, let me go and comment on her video. Like, oh, I really liked it. Like, oh, let me leave a like. Like, little things like that make a big difference, especially in like. The careers that way and then other people as well type of thing like let me offer that help like it doesn't break an arm and a leg to go mm. leave a like and leave a comment or even to share like on instagram mm. type of thing like and it doesn't cost any money not, not, it's free yeah <laughs> like so it's like changing that mindset and then when you start understanding that these things are free and the more positivity you give out the more you're gonna get if you have that give, mindset you, you know what I mean? and even if you don't receive You've given, like, well, there's nothing wrong with that, like, type of thing. So that's my mindset, like, I'm going to be as positive as I can be. Give, give, give. If I get, I get. If I don't, I don't. Like, I'm just happy to give to the world type of thing, like, and mm. that's what makes me happy. Like, I like to support others. Mm. I like to be the one that's happy for others because at some point in the time, you're probably happy for me, like, and you supported me. So, like, I want to reciprocate and give even more, like, and also to appreciate life. Like, God has put us in this position to be where we are. So I'm being thankful by showing you guys my love for you guys and the appreciation I have for you lot. But yeah man. What, 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 what. Yes, amazing. Okay, hopefully we have said some things um, that you guys have been able to pick up. And if you have felt like we've dropped some gems in here, please do share with your friends, share with every Ugandan that you know so that everybody can get this message so that we can start to build and grow and develop Gavantu. Mm -hmm. Not saying that we're not developing but like we could be so much better. Yeah. We could be so much better and we can do so much better. We've just tried to kind of cover the points and the areas in which we think that we can do better. Mm. Gavantu. 
as a community so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video yeah. thank you so much for watching mr snack thank you for gracing my channel thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs> that's all right i hope um you did enjoy him on the channel um he does have his own channel as well it's all going to be down below in the description box so check yeah. him out on socials and i'll see you in my next video love you guys Deuces. Papa, je dis à moi,